Welcome to the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia. While many may know who we are today, not many know of our beginnings and the journey of hope we've traveled. In 1969, just 12 years after her independence, Malaysia was still a fledgling country, still taking its first steps as an independent nation. It was a time of change. It was a period of growth. With this growth, which stemmed from independence, came the hunger for knowledge. The advance in medicine was an element the nation was keen to embrace. This thirst for knowledge coincided with the plight of Harry Kidd, a 25-year-old school teacher suffering from end-stage kidney failure. Harry's plight was brought into the public spotlight when Dr. S.S. Gill approached the media and appealed for assistance. With the full support of the media behind such a touching story, donations began to flow in. The donations from caring citizens and corporations accumulated to the point where it was then possible to purchase a dialysis machine from the United States of America. Harry was set to become Malaysia's first chemodialysis patient. Dr. Gill's efforts did not go unnoticed and very quickly his lobbying enlisted the support of the Rotary Club of Mataling Jaya that played a key role in the founding of the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia. With J.W. Henderson as the first chairman and the late Tan Sri Haji Sardon bin Haji Jubair as the first president, the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia was formed in 1970. The founding members, Dr. Dr. Srinivasan and Dr. S. S. Gill, undertook the challenge of training of personnel such as nurses and renal technicians. A major factor in their plans and direction also focused on public and medical practitioner education through seminars on kidney disease and transplantation. After years of campaigning and lobbying, it was time for the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia to take the next and logical step. The step up from the leading advisory panel on kidney disease to that of a dialysis enabler. Together with the government, these pioneers developed the first operational model for Malaysian dialysis centres, drove R&D efforts and delivered key public education messages. These R&D and knowledge focus years culminated in the opening of our first dedicated dialysis centre located in Jalan Hang Lekiu in 1993. It was also the first NGO-run dialysis centre in Malaysia for patients who are poor. Constant refining of the operational model, combined with continued education of medical practitioners and the public, set the stage for the evolution of the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia. The goal was to become the nation's leading non-government and absolute non-profit dialysis provider to the needy and poor, who would surely die without such hope. A goal that has been met. Today, the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia operates the largest network of centres with a nationwide footprint. As of 2009, we provided subsidised dialysis treatments for over 1,300 patients. In just one decade, the number of Malaysians on dialysis has registered a near 400% increase from just over 5,000 patients in 1999 to approximately 19,000 patients in 2009. Based on the current statistics, Malaysia will see an increase of 4,000 new dialysis patients per year, which represents an increase of just under 20% per year. In 2010, there are 20,000 dialysis patients, and this will increase to 40,000 in 10 years' time. In terms of the way forward, we must ensure that the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia is in a position to provide operational capacity to cater to the expected increase of dialysis patients. This means that we too must increase our dialysis treatment capacity by at least 20% per year. The addition of two new centres by the end of 2010 helps us achieve this objective. With several sites earmarked for expansion, relocation to larger premises, 
or even development of new centers in 2011 and 2012, we are confident that we can continue to provide life-saving dialysis treatments for the hardcore poor and needy. Now, after 40 years of giving hope and saving lives, we have a bold new focus for our future. This dynamic focus is represented in our new logo and corporate philosophy. We have shown that we are reactive to the needs of patients who are already diagnosed with kidney failure and in need of dialysis treatment. We have been hard at work in the background, developing the back end and operational structures recently, preparing for our push towards proactivity. With the age-old adage, in place of prevention is better than cure, our life check team with the bus sponsored by the Sunway Group has been traveling the length and breadth of the country, not only providing subsidized screening for potential kidney failure markers, but also explaining how to better protect the kidneys. By the end of 2010, we have successfully screened and conveyed the vital prevention messages to over 80,000 Malaysians. Because the national average of new dialysis patients per year is approximately 20%, we must expand at a higher rate of our prevention messaging and screening efforts. We are looking at an increase of 50% in public engagement for 2011 and 2012. This is more than double the annual increase of new dialysis patients. In 2010, 80,000 screenings. In 2011, 120,000 screenings. In 2012, 180,000 screenings. What more can be done? Create a one-stop resource center for kidney disease-related information, which will be open to everyone? In process. Ensure bright futures for the children of our patients by providing school fee assistance and reward for excellence in education? Launched, successful and expanding. A unique dialysis-related medical staff training course at our very own premises? Already garnering acclaim and praise. Drive awareness and encourage organ donations? In the final stages of preparation before campaign launch. Now you have a proactive plan that spans every community nationwide. But all these require funding. As a completely open and transparent non-profit organization, we can only provide these life-saving treatments and proactive measures through concerted fundraising efforts and donations from the caring public and socially responsible corporations. With the estimated inflation rate, the elevated utility cost of 3% per annum and the increase in cost to provide dialysis treatment capabilities to cater to the national growth in dialysis patients of around 20%, we need to raise more funding year on year. What is the cost of saving lives and providing better futures? For 2010, 12 million ringgit. For 2011, 15 million ringgit. For 2012, 80.75 million ringgit. Now you see why your help is so important. Now you understand how you make a difference. Now you see how the National Kidney Foundation of Malaysia is more than saving lives.